How you doing tonight? Uh, Arcator Zero here. Um, it's about one in the morning. Still kind of early for me. Uh, I work pretty late usually. Um, but I want to talk about uh, the rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I, I've seen it twice already. Um, first, uh, first viewing, I had a migraine when I saw it, so um, it was kind of tough to get through. Um, my initial reaction was it was a hot mess. Not so much that it was ho really horrible, but J.J. Um, Abrams trying to fix everything in, in just like one go. Um, it was, that's hard to do. That's hard to do it. Uh, and I got to give J.J. credit because I think he did his best with what he had to work with from the previous film. And if I haven't said it before, if you haven't heard me say it before... I'm not a big fan of uh, The Last Jedi. Not so much like the new characters and everything. I didn't like how they treated um, Luke Skywalker in it. Luke Skywalker was always my hero and everything. And to have him just give up and go live on Skywalker Island... And they lost so many opportunities for great storytelling when, like, when R2-D2 showed the uh, thing of the princess. He should have been out there lifting his his X-Wing and, and getting back in the fight. But it, it, just so many missed opportunities. It's almost as if that Johnson fellow, the guy who directed it or whatever, he pulled all the Star Wars fans and said, what would you really like to see in this movie? And then he did the exact opposite. And I was like, what the fuck? Um... But back to Rise of uh, Rise of Skywalker. I liked it. I thought it was enjoyable. Um, I think he did a uh, a really good job. Um, there was a lot of things in the movie that kind of left me questions. Like we don't find out who the Knights of Ren were. Like what's a Knight of Ren? Are they Force sensitive? Um, do they? Uh, do they have any abilities? Are they robots? Are they people? What are they under there? Um, don't know. So that was like a question that was kind of left unanswered. Um, geez, let's, let's think. Uh, starting out, the intro was very cool. Um, my, my audio meter just jumped up really high. Uh, the intro was really cool. The uh, light speed skipping, that was, uh, that was pretty damn cool. Um, what they had to work with with uh, Leia with Carrie Fisher, they did they did a really good job on that. I really enjoyed seeing um, young Luke and uh, long, young Leia training together. I wish we, that was like maybe a twenty minute sequence. That would have been awesome. Um, that would have kind of. You know, satisfied my need to see Luke as a Jedi. You know, like one more time. Um, and they, they brought back the Emperor. I'm like, what's with the Sith not dying? It, it's like Darth Maul is back. Uh, well, I, he came back and then he died again. Uh, apparently, I, I haven't watched all the cartoons. I'll be honest with you, but apparently, he can survive being cut in half and falling down that big old shaft. And he gets like bionic pants, and then he was like bionic bionic pants mall, and you could see him in solo and everything. And I'm like, well, that's just that's just crazy. But then the emperor survived. And one of the things that I realized, and, and you know, tell me your opinion. This really isn't a Skywalker saga from uh, episodes one through nine when you put it together. It's a Palpatine saga. And Palpatine is not only the cause of misery in the universe, but also a Palpatine is the savior. Um, not so much Skywalker, uh, though you could make the argument that all the Jedi live in her now. Um, it's kind of creepy, but okay. You know, I'll go with that. Um, but it was it was strange that he was back alive. I mean, he looked sick, though. He looked like a zombie or something. It was it was pretty damn cool. Um, I did get teary-eyed only at really two points during the movie. Um, was actually three points. Uh, when 
Chewie learned of Princess Leia's death. That hit me hard. See, that's what we needed. We needed more of that uh, when Han died. I know Chewie was there, but his he was in the middle of combat, so he really couldn't, you know, he couldn't really afford the time to be sad. He actually shot Kyle. <laughs> He's like, I'll shoot Han's, Han's kid. I don't care. I have a life debt with uh, Han Solo. That was pretty cool. But um, that teared me up. When all the ships arrived, when they had that Avengers moment where, you know, when the Falcon arrives, the, so the Falcon arrives in the Avenger, the Falcon arrives at Star Wars. Falcon saves the day. Um, but when they all appeared and they played the theme song, that took me back. That took me back to when I was a kid. Um, and I got all misty eyed. I'm like, yeah, go get them, guys. Um, and then the last part was Chewie finally got his fucking medal. It's like, fuck yeah. Chewie deserves a fucking medal. You know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he didn't get a medal in the first place. That was ridiculous. But um, Chewie gets his medal. And I got all weepy over that, too. Um, but those are the parts that I was weepy over. I like that Mama Fett girl who's friends with uh, Poe. Um, you know, she's got an air of mystery. That, that looked like they were trying to introduce, like, we need another Boba Fett figure, you know. We need a someone mysterious in a mask. Who who could they be and everything? And um, I thought that was kind of cool. Like to see a little bit more about her. Um, what else did I like in that movie? The Force stuff was was cool. I liked how she was leaning more towards um, the Force Unleashed type uh, type character, grabbing onto the spaceship with the Force. Um, that was awesome. I like that. Um, the jetpacks, the jet troopers, those were cool. But don't they know about jetpacks and that jet troopers? At least Finn should have known. It's like, yeah, yeah, the troopers, yeah, they developed this a long time ago or something like that. Because I somehow remember uh, jet troopers not being an old thing, not a new thing. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I watched some other people's reviews of it, of this movie, um, and I gotta stop doing that. Some people I really like, like Eric Butts, I really liked. I, I, I would have paid good money just to sit next to him in the movie theater and watching it. Um, if you don't know who Eric Butts is, uh, search him up. He does reactions, trailer reactions, and he's a huge Star Wars fan, and he uh, he's a decent musician. His music's really good, too. Um so look it up. Like I think uh, my subscriptions, it's right up there. You can't see it's too tiny. What am I talking about? Um, and but there are other people uh, saying that oh, Leia just spoke his name and that killed her. No, that didn't kill her. She was using the force. She used her force to free her son from the dark side, and in doing so, that kind of killed her. So that you know I could kind of see happening. Um, you know, but I think a lot of people are still sour from the last Jedi. I can't blame them. I can't fault them for that. But overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah, out of the new, the three new movies, that was hands down the best one. Um, they didn't really reuse, aside from having an empire and everything else. There was no. I was waiting for another Death Star, but they put the guns. They've made the technology smaller. Did I mention there's spoilers in this uh, video? I don't know if I did, but there's spoilers, guys. Sorry. Um, but all in all, it was uh, it, it was pretty cool. I recommend go seeing it. What did you guys think of the movie? Uh, let me know down below. We get to the new year. I've been promising some new things. I set up a uh, uh, like a Teespring store. I have our Cater Zero t-shirts, but also the other like. Uh, t-shirts that I do uh, that I make, like make some Star Wars ones, I'm making video game ones I'm going to be making a lot of uh, Walt Disney World deep cut shirts uh, if you're a fan of Walt Disney World um, but that's coming up in January um, and, and some other things, and I'm going to try and do a lot more filming, I know I've always said it um, my big battle is uh, time and depression uh, those are the two things that, that hold me back um you know, I get, I, I try and do more and more videos, but I've been doing pretty good lately, so, um, which is good. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a uh, wonderful holiday. 
uh, if you're watching this after the holidays. I hope you had a great holiday. So anyway, all right, Arcader Zero signing off. Just want to uh, get my two cents in about uh, the rise of Skywalker. It's actually the rise of Palpatine. Because um, at the very end, I mean, she claims Skywalker's name, but she's still a Palpatine. It's like you were adopted by the Skywalkers. Uh, unless, unless, because um, I was thinking about this. What do you guys think? Um, you know, it, everybody's like grossed out that uh, that Palpatine did it with somebody to have a child. Maybe he influenced the midichlorians, the people to spontaneously give birth, like Anakin. So maybe he's actually Anakin's father. And in that case, he would he would kind of be a she would kind of be a Skywalker. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. What do you guys think? Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, click subscribe. Um, uh, give my my video a thumb up if you liked it, a like or or whatever they do here on YouTube. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. And once again, I'll respond to all the all the messages you guys leave. I try to respond to each and every single one. I will talk to you later. Stop recording.